Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial. This tutorial will be a simple tutorial. I'm teaching you how to do a simple ROM uh, scripting. So basically, I was like, I actually just started scripting a few months back, so I'm not experienced yet. So I'll learn with you guys as we go along. But for now, I'm going to share with you some of the new uh, stuff that I learned. So basically, I use this program called PKSV UI. All right, this is a pretty good scripting program for um, new beginners, right? And the other two tools uh, tools I use are Advanced Map and Pokitronic. Um, since I discovered PKSV, I hardly use Pokitronic now, but yeah, it still comes in handy. So anyway, let's just start with this uh, easy scripting first. So when you download this, you uh, could, should create a shortcut on your desktop. If you're going to be doing a lot of heavy scripting, then it'll be very really useful. So now I created a shortcut here, and yeah. So what you want to do first you want, is you want to download um, any ROM, any Pokemon ROM. So I basically got Pokemon Fire Rate here. Yeah, so Pokemon Fire Rate. So I actually did some hacking on it. So yeah, I, rena I, click, uh, I renamed it to Pokemon Fire Rate Super Hack, whatever. So yeah. So I'm gonna open that ROM first. So I saved this ROM actually in my project files with this. So you want to create a you know hacking file so you can put all your tools here like this. You see, so it's very convenient. I have all my tools here um, when I want to access them. So yeah. So now that we open the ROM for Pokemon Fire Red, let's start. So uh, the, today I'm just gonna be introducing, introducing to you guys a simple uh, speech speech script. All right. So okay, you I'm gonna actually do maybe like two of each tutorial just I mean uh two parts of each tutorial just to quickly give you guys two different views of it. Okay the first one would be actually you uh teaching you guys how to type out the whole script yourself as in you know you start writing it from scratch. And the other one would be using the script generator that actually comes with PKSV. It's really useful. Um uh, you know they have so many things here. There's like the find item script, the give item script, the give Pokemon script. There's so many useful things here. Yeah, so basically this is very convenient for newbies and stuff. I mean, if you want to, you know, quickly get over it, this is actually very easy. But for the, you know, like for example, advanced scripts, for example, you maybe want to ask the, the, you want the person to ask you a question, like you want this Pokemon, yes, no, and if you say yes or no, then he gives you the Pokemon. Yeah, then you got to do it yourself, DIY here. So yeah, so first I'm going to teach you guys how to write a simple person talking script without using the script generator. I mean, you could, of course, always, you know, person talking, then, oh, you write, you write in your text and stuff. It's so easy, but yeah. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it yourself first so that in case, you know, you guys want a personalized script, yeah, you can do it yourself. So, so first, you want to always start off with hashtag dynamic. All right, hashtag dynamic is a, basically what you always start off with. So this is kind of just, a, you know, like illustrate to you, illustrate to the script where to find free space. Now, the freest space, freest space that most ROM hackers use actually 0 times 7, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 74, 740, eh? yeah, 740,000, okay, this is like the ROM with the most space, so yeah, you know, most people actually use this one, so you should just, you know, always memorize this, hashtag dynamic space 0 times 7, 4, uh, and then 4 zeros. Next, you want to move on to ORG. This is, um, I'm not sure why ORG is here for, I just memorized it, yeah, but so, okay, this is always the basic of all studying scripts, okay? This, sorry, this two lines. Let's just memorize it, okay? Hashtag dynamic space 0 times 7412000 and hashtag ORG space at start. These four commands are the commands to any script that you like to write. Now, we actually start on the real script thing. So, these are four things that you always must have. Now, I'm going to introduce you to two more things that um, are essential if you are starting out because these are so the basic scripts. But once you move on to more advanced ones, you can actually get rid of this with you know some other more advanced scripts. But I'll be touching on that later on. So anyway, these are the two uh, another two scripts for newbies that you must have: lock and face player. All right, lock basically locks the character talking to you, so that the character doesn't move around or look around. And face player, obviously, as the name suggests, makes the character face you. So simple enough. We all understand that. Now is when the real um, script writing begins for this for each individual script, individualized script because this is standard for all scripts. Yeah, and this is how this is a new script. All right. So first, uh, this is a speech doc, a normal speech. So first, you want to tell them, okay, message. You want to say that you're going to give do a message, all right? And then next, you want to tell the script where to find the message. So this will be linked to, to something else at the bottom later on. So now. Okay, for example, you want to tell the script, okay, link this to at maybe your mom, your mom, 
Okay, I know, it's just a random. This tag can be anything you want as long as there's no spacing in between. So it can be anything like, like, uh, cheese or something, you know what I mean? So this is just a tag to tell the script where to find it. So message space at cheese. Next, you're gonna go and tell the script what kind of script it is. So it, so you type in call standard std for, I mean call standard for the message count scripts. So this message, you wanna be a normal script, you know, just a normal script, so I'm just talking to you. So type in msg underscore normal, or message normal, whatever. So msg underscore normal. You know, so there are many others, there's, there's msg underscore, um, not signpost. This is, you know, of course, as the name suggests, a signpost, but this time we can just use normal. So yeah, just type in msg normal, calls standard msg normal, next. Now that we're done here, we need to release the playbus. Remember, we locked him out just now. Yeah, release him now. Let's like set him free and end the script so that you know you don't crash the ROM or anything. So end the script, release the player and escape. End the script. All right, now next. Remember just now early on, we told the script to find the message at cheese. Now we need to inform this. Now we need to actually put the real message here. So now, hashtag or a G at cheese. Enter equals to, equals will tell you where the message is space and now you can put your message you can say um this is my first script you can put in anything you want here so now you got this you want to click on this button so now you have this all right so hashtag org at cheese remember this remember okay link this down here so this, if i change this to at boy i have to change this to at boy okay so now we're done this is a simple talking script now you want to click on this button compile here scroll down and look at this you see you have a set of random digits here okay now copy from the zero all the way to the other zero at the end copy that close that and close this next you're gonna open your other two advanced map okay drag it up load the rom that you were working on earlier on um okay there's nothing so anyway i actually just now created a new wall here I'll just quickly explain. Uh, okay, I'll explain to you guys how to create a new world next time. So now, I'm just gonna work on the original one. So go to the events tab here. Um, change the number of person events to maybe say four, and drag the person down here. Okay. Now you can change the picture number here. I'm gonna change it to something like uh, a hot girl. No hot girls. Oh, whatever. This one will do. Then select the movement. Um. You can, you know, there's so many movements, you can, um, do, uh, what, something like, mirror play, I, I like this, but, you know, uh, walk on the spot, this is funny, okay, so just use walk on the spot, I'm not sure what it does, um, okay, now you want to take away all the zeros and paste your script in, now you see, this one behind it in red, because there's the zero types in front, now you want to click in front of the seven, and delete the zero times. Now I know you can ask me why did we copy the whole thing um, if we just needed the seven four zero c four zero. Okay, I'm also not sure why, but every time I do it without copying the zero times, there always seems to be an error in the script. I am I have no idea why. Don't ask me. Now save that. So just remember always copy the zero times. Now save that. Yeah, and then now you can actually click open script to check. So yeah, see it works. Okay, uh, this is my first script. Build and lock command. MSG lock. Okay, so this is okay. Now, before, sometimes you can't click open script, they'll come out a message say, oh, you have no script identifier. So what you're going to do is you're going to go tools, I mean, sorry, you're going to go settings, um, choose script editor here, and just click it, and you select this. Um, then you click no, alright, so then now you can open your script with this. So, it, it, now, let's save it, and let's test it out. Um, close everything. Now, um, no. Okay, now I usually say, I usually do it with Visual Boy Advance, it's convenient, I like it.